Hey there all, Dr. Groovy here, Scott Grove from the kitchen and <laughs> from GroovyMusicLessons.com. Yeah, getting out of the music room because um, it's hot in there. <laughs> Been banging on pots and pans. Anyway, uh, groovy guitars today, all kinds of funky guitars I picked up since the last time we've seen each other. Um, these are Arbor guitars from back in the 80s. Um, Honer actually made them. They make all the blues harps and a lot of acoustics from back when. And then Honer put out their, you know, it's just like Ibanez would put out the Artwood series of acoustics or the different um, kind of, what they call the Exotic Wood series, maybe for Dean or something, I think it was. But anyway, the Arbor guitars became um, 80s shred guitars and then they were gone. So they're right on the same lines as your um, Charvels, your Aria Pros, your Yamahas. Um, there was even some couple weird brands back then. 2V's uh, Vester and um, Vantage that were, came and went real quick. So these are definitely wild hair band guitars. And you guys get to find out what's what because I can not find any information on these guitars anywhere. What's really cool is um, I got them all at Music Go Round online, three different locations all over the country here in the USA, and got one for $75, another one for $75, and one for like $95, I think it was. And the going price that people are actually paying, not what they're asking for, is like $350 or $375, unless you get it like on a Craigslist somewhere and somebody don't know what it is or somebody just don't care. Um, because demand is who, whatever. Uh, supply is limited. I can't find these things anywhere except for just a couple pictures. Um, so if you guys can find any hard concrete anything on these three guitars, let me know. I'm going to do all three of them on here. Play my uh, an American Strat against them real quick. Going through the uh, Paul Rivera 1983 or two. Fender Concert 2 tube amp, no effects, just straight clean because I'm doing um, guitar reviews, not amp reviews or anything else, so I'll let you hear the guitars. So, um, man, with this many guitars, which is about 15, 20, uh, thank the folks again at, right here, the Eterna Shine Guitar Scratch Remover.com. That's how you gotta remember, Guitar Scratch Remover.com. And I've used a buttload of this stuff. And will I promote them? Yes, I will. Because <laughs> they have brought some guitars back to life and there are half the scratches left. If it doesn't break through to the wood, uh, your scratches can be gone, even on your pick guards. Beautiful thing. Okay, so let's check these out. I got a volume, not volume, a model number on two of them. And this one here was $75. This here is a 1987 G17. There you go. Screaming 80s, isn't it? And that one, I had to have that. That's just all there is to it. And it's just that groovy. Again, it was Honer who produced these. Straight out of the good place. Korea. So there you go. And so you got your model there. Okay, again, that's the G17 in 1987. It's just got the typical stuff, the covered, because EMGs and stuff are coming out and things like that. So they did the covered, two single coils, then the splittable, right there. Um, humbucker, master volume, master tone, strat type of thing. We don't know what the wood's made out of. Everything else is uh, maple and rosewood is everything like that no they're all three very different in their own way mashing headstock looks great with the pink i think and this awesome guitar 25 inch scale okay so that's prs territory anything else on here i need to tell you about 8.6 pounds <laughs> so it's got some heft to it anything else um that does it okay so there's that one. I'll show them to you, then I'll play a little bit of just clean stuff on the free. Okay, the next one is the only one I have um, 
no, actually, I don't have anything on this. I don't know a model number. I don't know a year. I don't know jack crap about this one. Okay, there's the black and the black back here. The slickest feeling neck you ever found in your life. Um, is it graphite? I don't know. It's just odd, but it feels amazing. Okay, so we're entering Jake Lee feet looking territory from 10 feet away. Okay, but these are the stock pickups. I've seen one other one online. So just probably the same as the other one. And you got a matte looking finish there, which matches everything else. So, and the other pictures online. So, same thing, 25 inch scale. And the back of the uh, deal here, and the non matching headstock. If you notice the Arbor logo, is the acoustic guitar kind of wacky um, but see how dull that finishes uh, on the actual neck it's kind of what makes me think there might be some kind of graphite involved here everything else is the same with the coil split it's heavy as I'll get out to so there's another one I don't know anything about this if you guys find anything about it I'll put it in the title then I'll put the whole description down below it. And on my website, I'll add it all in there too. But I honestly can't find anything. And then my favorite, <laughs> this bad boy. Okay. These you might think you've seen, and you might, you might have, but uh, you've probably seen their brothers. All I know is this is from 1985, and it's called a G424. Okay. How do I know that? Well, I put it in and it told me what year, but this was it. So, <laughs> this one's 25 and a half inch scale, so typical strap thing. Just uh, screaming Jackson and Charvel and all that stuff. Maple fingerboard, love it. Maple back here, and three single coils hidden in the stripes. They do also make a white and black zebra stripe thing. Um, this is the one and only guitar I've seen like this that um, has the three single coils. Um, I've seen it with um, the same single single humbucker like the others, but everyone has a big black pick guard on it. They made an Explorer base with this graphic on it, no pick guard on the base. But all the guitars like this all have a black pick guard. How this one got here, I don't know, but I'm glad it did. And. Uh, this is just awesome. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> you know, it's just a strap with no pick guards and it's it's great. So I don't need to describe anything here except for it is strap scale. And they are awesome. And this one has 21 frets. How about the others? 22 and 22. So this is like an old fender. <laughs> I don't need 22 frets. I can bend all the way up that high E with no problem. So I'm going to put these up against the American Strat. I'll do a couple of these, play the Strat in the middle, and play another one of these. Okay, so um, thanks again to mm, my buddies here. Hey, as, I, as I'm yakking with all these new things, um, at South Creek Audio, um, providing all my cables, um, they have still, I've never had one single kink nothing come out of these things they're not noisy they never bunch up somebody gave me a cable recently i won't say who it is but it's a purple cable if you guys remember that one it just bunches up and follows me around in one big huge clump <laughs> it's under the bed or something now hey i need a guitar there's one here's that pink one that is heavy e heavy d right there <laughs> again, the name is Arbor, and again, I remember him from back in the day, and just awesome. Uh, we're going clean, totally clean, um, because I'm not advertising the amp or the anything else, just letting you hear the guitars, the way I try to. I know, no shredding, none of that stuff, just some chords, and you can hear the tones. Um, this is... I'm pretend it has three single coils right now, so I'm in position two with the humbucker split, so the typical strap sound, okay? 
uh, turn the standby. I forget to do that sometimes. <laughs> spray right when I got them so um, there you go and now for the humbucker here's single quill again humbucker kicks it in boy <laughs> okay so there's the guitar okay and again split it should be about the same thing. Again, the white one. I don't know anything about. No model number, no year, no anything. I love the back of that neck though. I love the color. Again, the Jake E. Lee kind of look. Um, so it should sound pretty much like the other one. I know, I could hit the standby. Why? Okay, so again, same thing. It's already split. Um, we're in the two position like a strap. Pilot light will come on the front of the guitar. 
even when you're not running any of that noise, it's still going to waste your battery by turning on some blue light or something. Anyway, it'll just be wide open using the pickups that are on it. Again, straight out USA strap with all the rolling gadgetry built in the back, but won't be using any of that. Four knobs. Um, see where my time's at so I know what I can do. Can't, I can do just a slight bit, but here's the regular strap in the two position. <laughs> zebra finish but again you will see the pickup I mean the pit guard sorry or the scratch plate for those overseas but never will you find another one without this if you do I'll buy it if you find any more of these period let me know and I'll buy them okay straight uh, uh, Stratocaster specs on this one except for it's heavier okay position two because I like two <laughs> Strap by now. Two, three. Yeah, it's probably the way I got it. Yeah, it's just the way I got it set up. That bridge pickup is low down, so it's giving me more high end. So not a huge difference. So again, I'll take some more of these if anybody has them, and I'll pay the crappy price for them because that's what I can get them for. <laughs> but if you guys can find them, um, I couldn't be happier. Um, that's all I can say. Um, are they worth whatever? Um, they are to me. Uh, I kind of like those. This one, again, I might just have to adjust the pickups on. Or I might throw, I've got some uh, silver lace sensors I might put in here because I really dig this thing. It feels great. But then again, it might come down to actually just adjusting some of these. And compared to the strap, it just is what it is. And uh, it's just feel there. And the strap had lower output, if that matters to you, just a little bit and was just um, thinner okay that's all so you could put some mids in it and some lows and then your strap would sound like those for the most part so it can always be eq'd but uh awesome guitars stupid prices <laughs> and again the folks at uh guitar scratch and uh south creek audio south creek audio mention my name checking out you get uh 10% off anything you want to buy. Um, maybe it'll do something for you over at the uh, guitarscratchremover.com. I've never asked them, but hey, they're at the bottom of my website. And then Elixir Strings on everything. So um, you guys be groovy. I've got a whole bunch of other guitars and multiples of some to show you next, okay? So more groovy or not so groovy stuff. Somebody finally realized what this shirt meant today at the grocery store. 
um, another band walking through from out of town. Okay, so Arbor Guitars again at uh, Go on the Hunt. If anybody knows, if anybody remembers these guitars, um, names and you heard two model numbers, specs, anything you could find, okay? Um, see you in a second with a couple funky ones, alright? Bye.